All right, welcome back to the spotlight. But today, as you can see, we're doing kind of a showcase. Do you see all of these planes? These are right, they leave, and we are going to take a look at all of them. Let's get started. So, as you can see, I've got a lot of planes here on the tarmac. And um, all of these are built by one person, Thales. Now, I was going to do them individually, but since I'm trying to get through spotlights, I figured let's just do them all in one shot. That way we can get Thales out of the way, unless he builds something new, which he did, which is... Where is it? Right here. This is going to be the last plane we look at. This is his newest plane, uh, so we're going to save that for last. But we're going to look at all the ones that he submitted to the spotlight. And includes large ones, small ones, and old ones, and uh, we're going to have fun. So let's go ahead and get started, get your popcorn ready, and maybe a soda, because this is going to take a while. Woo! Alright, so we are starting with the Icon A5, and this was built for land and water uh, in real life. But unfortunately, Stormworks was not very friendly with Thales, so it is only for land. But we're going to try it out and see how it flies. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hop in. There we go. And boom, just like that, we are inside. Going to shut the panel. Ooh, very cozy. All right, on our pilot seat, we have roll, ground steer, wait, roll and ground steering, pitch, yaw, collective, starter, throttle up, throttle down, number two, okay. Parking brake, four, five, landing gear, folding wings. Let's just fold the wings for fun. Okay. Very nice. There we go, and I got a clock. Boop. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we have. We have the heater, we have altitude hold, GPS autopilot, throttle, uh, landing gear, interior lights. Let's turn that on. Taxi lights, why not? Nav lights, sure. Strobe lights, sure. All right. Front camera. Ooh. And uh, flaps up. We're not going to touch the flaps. All right, so how do we turn it on? Number one. All right, so there we go. It is started. Looks nice. And to throttle up, unless the brake is on. Is the brake on? It doesn't say. Do we have a light for brake? Let's turn on the brake with, what number is it? Four. Ah, there we go. So it's off. Okay, so number two. I'm going to tap it just a little bit. I don't want to overdo it. Not really working. Okay, collective. Let's do collective number up and down. Okay, up. All right, we're doing collective. All right, there we go. All right, so far so good. And there's the Stormworks. Sounds like it's trying to break and <laughs> we're up. That is it. Easy peasy. All right, uh, landing gear number five. There we go. So the nice thing about Thalesa's planes is they are powered to be realistic, if that makes any sense. So he tries to make every plane be as realistic as possible with the power levels. So you won't find him overpowering his 109s or his P47s. He'll try to make the exact power that he can within the Stormworks world so that you don't get overpowered planes and you feel like you actually have to take off rather than just being a jet and just like, you know, taking off the ground like straight up in the air vertical. So he tries to do his best to make the planes as realistic as possible. And uh, that's why I love his planes. So we're going to go ahead and jump to the next plane because we have a lot to get through. And we're basically going to see if we can get these things started, take off, take a look at them, and then just kind of, you know, get to the next one. All right. So let's head over to the island. Well, should I try to land? Okay, we'll just try to land this first one just for fun. You know this is not going to end up well, but we'll try. Okay, so collective is on my up and arrow, up and down arrow. Oh, yeah, okay. We don't want to touch the collective too much. Apparently, I'm going to land in the mountain. Um, this is not even the right direction to land. Yeah, I don't know why I'm trying this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yep, well, let's get to the next plane. All right, so the next plane we have by Thales is the Piper PA-18150 Super Cub. So this plane should be really easy to fly. I mean, we should not even have to, like, barely touch it. It should just, you know, take off into the sky with no effort whatsoever. Um, yeah, let's see if that works out for me. Let's see, throttle. Oh, that's throttle. On switch? 
Reverse? Okay, let's do this. Oh, whoa! what I tell you? Didn't even have to barely touch it. It's already starting. 70 for cruise. Alright. Can we turn here? Alright. Throttle is up and down. Okay, up and down. There we go. Let's go to 70. See what I'm saying? It's not overpowered. I feel like I'm actually gaining speed. I'm gonna have to take off. Hopefully before I hit the end of the runway. Yep, yep, there it goes. Look. It's already starting to try to climb. Okay, ignore my bad driving. See what I'm saying? His planes feel like planes. That's what the most impressive thing is. What's the gyro do? Number one. Yeah, the gyro just really makes the plane fly nice and straight and even. But see what I'm saying? Look how easy this is to fly now. Now I don't even have to try, but the point is that this thing is not overpowered. I feel like I'm flying a nice little plane in the Stormworks. Let's turn off that gyro so I can turn. Um, and uh, it just feels good. So we're going to go ahead and go back and see if we can land. Yeah, right. And uh, get to the next plane. If you want to see the cockpit, here it is. Nice and cozy. All right. All right, just for fun, I'm going to hit the gyro and see if I can land easier with it keeping me kind of level. All right. Kind of cutting the throttle a bit. Coming in. Coming in. Uh, more power, more power, more power, more power, more power, more power. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Cut the power, cut the power. Okay, cut way down, way down, way down, way down. Ooh. All right. So not Thales's problem, my problem, but this <laughs> this plane flies really nice. Uh, so yeah, let's get to the next one. All right, next up is the Piper PA-18150, or 150, float plane. And this is the float version of the plane we just flew. So it should be easy as pie to fly, right? Let's try it here. Avionics, tension power, landing lights. Oh, there's a door here. I did not know that. Okay, good to know. Um, Uh-oh, we may have to start this over again. All right, let's try again. I pushed it over, so maybe that will help it not not uh, be silly. Um, Stormworks is always... Where's the door at? There we go. Um, is always really tricky with float planes because they don't really float. So you have to be kind of clever to get these to work. And, of course, the Elise does a good job of doing this kind of stuff. Uh-oh. Look at that. I'm already... Turning. I don't know what the secret is to getting it out of here. I may have to like push it forward. All right. All right, let's just jump in real quick. No, I think we're gonna have trouble again. Ugh. All right, so I pushed the plane all the way forward. So if we can't get out of here, I don't know that we're gonna be able to do this at all. So let's try. All right, so up on the float. Of course, just being on the float, kind of turns it. Let's see if we can get out of here. Alright, go, go, go. Alright. There you go. Okay, so I'm full throttle right now, and as you can see, the plane is kind of behaving realistically. I mean, as far as Stormworks goes, it's picking the speed, it's staying on top of the water. Uh, let's see if we can pull up. We can, and that is it. So, yeah. Alright, so that is it for this plane. We got it up. And uh, it's flying nice. All right, let's see if we can land it really quick in the water right here. Yeah, I just cut the throttle. That's probably not a good idea. But we're going to slow down. Slow down, slow down. This is way too slow. There we go. All right, there we go. Nice job. I have no idea how you got these planes to float as well. I don't know if he has, like, like uh, what you call it. Um pivots on the inside or it just happens to get this so light that it flies but uh yeah great plane and you can download all of these in the description below so let's get to the next one next up we have the junkers k16 and this is actually from like 1924 so you can see the old design this was not a war plane so this is very cool look at that engine wow very nicely done uh let's see how do you get in this little guy is it on top of the roof no Maybe this? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that! Okay, let's sit in the seat. Shut the door. 
Wait, I'm <laughs> I'm in the passenger seat. Never mind. Let's get out of here. All right. How how do I get in? Is it on top of the roof? Did the pilots actually have to jump on the roof to get in this thing? No. Did they? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I should grab that handle, but I'm not trying to. I'm trying to grab the seat. Okay. So, very cool. How do we shut that thing up? Generator. Turn off when takeoff. Turn off when takeoff. Okay, I guess we need the generators on. Dome light. Cabin heater. Magneto. Where? Where's the on? Switch. On off switch? Close top lid button. Anywhere. We may have to leave it open. Um, unless I'm blind. Fuel pump. That's probably important. Alright, pumps. Check. Turn off and take off. We want that on. I'll put that back on. Alright. Number three closes the dome. And we're just going to throttle this up because we're moving. Now, is the parking brake on or off? Let's check. Parking brake, number four. Okay, it was off. Alright, so, I mean, we should actually be taken off. But like I said, with Thales' planes, you're not overpowered, so you kind of have to to baby them up into the air like a real plane. Alright. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. Why won't it turn? I can't turn! I'm not gonna have enough runway. <laughs> uh, let's try again. And then I'm just gonna throttle up. Cruise is 75. We're just going to 100 this thing. Alright, so my brake's on. So hopefully I can turn a little bit before we get going. Alright. Should I let the brakes go? Alright. Alright, come on. I think we're going to be able to make the turn this time. We just need enough power or enough speed to get off the ground. It's trying. It's trying. Are you trying? Lift your tail, please. Lift your tail, please. Come on. Lift your tail, please. We're out of runway. <laughs> there you go. So, like I said for the hundredth time, when you fly a Thales plane, you are actually trying to fly the plane. There is no jet engines in these old planes, so I know that makes a lot of sense, but you get the idea. I actually had to get enough speed to get this off the ground. Look how nice that looks. Alright, should I try to land this thing? Uh, you know, that's not going to end up too well. Alright, let's try to land this thing. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go back and uh, throw it down. We have a dry arrow on this one. Hmm. Oops, I killed the engine. Too much. I wish I could see on screen, like right here on the screen, uh, instruments. That would be a nice added thing to be able to script uh, on monitors. Wait, monitors on your monitor? Yeah, monitors on your monitor. Alright, we're just going to kill it. And see if we can glide down. Yeah, that's as good as it's going to get for me. So, there you go. Nice plane. All right, let's get the next one. Now we are looking at the Junkers F-13, another older civilian plane, not a war plane. But uh, yeah, look at this thing. Looking nice, huh? Look at that old engine. Ooh, you have to start it? <gasps> you have to start it like this? No way. I have not flown this plane. You can tell I'm way behind in the Thales build. So let's see if we can get this thing working. All right, so... Oh, wait, this is passengers again. What is that, by the way? Just because I'm curious. So we got electric light communication window. What is that? Uh, please land, I'm scared. Okay, that's cool. And what do we have here? Side window. Oh. Let the air in. Very cool. Look at that. All right. Then we have in here. Now, should I read the directions, or should I just give this a whack? Let's see. I think I'm just going to try it. Uh, not with that. Not with that. Wait, what? 
Okay, so we have no power. Do I have to, <laughs> do I have to start the engine to get power? That sounds logical, right? If it's an old plane. Let's see if we can get this going. All right. Come on. Start up. It doesn't quite sound like it started. Maybe I didn't give it fuel. Or, no. You know, I couldn't even turn the magnetos on. I feel like... Maybe there's some kind of switch I'm missing on the inside here. Let's see real quick. Okay. Oh, you can swing the propeller from inside here. Okay. Fuel cock. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Fuel trim pumps. Okay. Oh. I thought I couldn't turn that on before. I guess I could. I'm dumb. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, we have mixture. Throttle 50 for taxi. Okay. Come on. Do I have to mess with the mixture? I didn't read the directions, so I'm kind of screwing around here. What's this? Trim. Fuel trim. Pumps fuel to the trim tank. Okay. We don't need that. Come on. Start up here. Oh, I needed that. I don't know what that is. I guess like a fuel cutoff. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Apparently we have wheel chucks, and we're going to just turn those off. Alright, hey! It wasn't so bad, you just have to be a little bit smarter. Do I have no way to close windows? No, this is just an open canopy. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to turn. There we go. Lovely. Okay, whoop. Alright. Should I start now with our engine? I think we, this has enough power that I don't need a lot of runway. But we're gonna just go ahead and see if we can lift off. Okay, there goes the tail. The tail is up. The wheels are up. Look, I didn't touch anything. Nothing. It just took off. What an amazing plane. What an amazing plane. Alright. So, as you can see, we're up, it's flying, and uh, it's a lovely build. Like, I don't know what to say about these planes. If you haven't downloaded these planes, look in the description below and download them all because they're great. All right, should I land? I'm not gonna really land. I'm just gonna cut the engine and <laughs> get to the next plane. We've got a lot to get through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if we can kind of stall land here. Stall land? I don't know if that's a thing. There we go. It's like you're a heavy piece of paper. Okay. There you go. Cool. Next one. Alright, so this is the water variant of that plane. You know what? I'm afraid we're going to get stuck in here. I didn't move it forward. But let's just see if we can... Wait, what? This one has, like, you know, the windows. It's, like, blocked. That's kind of interesting, right? Oops, crap. Um, this one is actually, um, fuel hatch. How do I, how do I get in this one? Wait, what? What's going on in here this time? Oh, this is a lot, a little bit different. Okay, interesting. All right, so, got bed. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Interesting plane. Okay, cool. So, we know how to do this, right? Turn that on. This one's already on. Interesting. I like saying interesting, apparently. What's this do? Folds a seat. Okay. Mixture. What did I do with the mixture last time? Did I just pump it up? I think I did. Oh, boy. I'm breaking things, probably. Okay. Reduction gear. Burns more fuel. This is slightly different. Or I didn't look at the other plane properly? I don't know. Wait, where's the spinner? Starter. Hold. Okay. Are you on? Yes, you are on. Okay, let's take off. Now look, see how this one's floating? 
I don't know how he does that. All the other planes that are float planes sink to the bottom. So I'm not sure if he's doing something magical here, but uh, it works. And it even has wheels. Look at that. All right, let's just take off. Maybe not. Okay, let's try this gear reduction button. There we go. Now we can probably turn it off. There we go. All right. And then if we want, we can land on the water again, I guess. Let's do that. Ta-da! An actual float plane in Stormworks. Amazing! All right. Next up. All right, next up is one of my favorite old planes, a Jenny. So this was a training plane or used for training pilots, and it is very cool. So it's simple in build, and hopefully it's simple to fly. So let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and get inside. Now, is it the back seat or the front seat? Is it back seat driving? I think it is, right? Let's see the front seat. I don't think you drive from the front. No, this is passenger seat. Okay, so let's get to the back seat. And try to take off. Okay, so we've got starter. Is that it? Yeah, no fuss. Okay. Okay, that's probably going to need a little bit of runway for this thing. But not too much. I like to see them take off by themselves. There's the tail. There you go. Yeah, probably the best planes in Stormworks. I'm sorry. But these are my favorites. He just puts so much attention into making the plane powered as realistically as possible. Even I don't even try to do that. Uh, it's just... <laughs> it's, it's beyond my capabilities to figure out how much power to give the plane. So if it flies, I'm happy. But they at least does the extra stuff with the, uh, the power plants. So very cool. And as you can see, it flies like a plane. Oh my gosh. All right, I know. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. It's just because I'm so impressed with these planes. All right, I won't say it again. I won't say it again. Let's get to the next one. All right, the next plane is the Red Baron. This is DR-1. And this basically was a plane that everybody was using for dogfighting for a little while. They added some dogfighting features to it. And uh, it kind of worked, but not really in multiplayer. You could kind of like shoot anybody down, like, no matter where you were aiming in multiplayer. So it didn't really work. But okay, let's see if we can get this thing going. Can't do the throttle yet. There's key. Okay, it automatically changes the throttle. Cool. Let's go ahead and hold the starter. Okay. Now the real planes were really easy to take off because they had the three wings and as you can see didn't take much to get off the ground. Uh, shoot machine guns, I think this used to have modified guns but I don't think they work anymore. Yeah, sounds like that. But yep, that's it. Should be able to do like little loopy loops. There you go. Very cool. Alrighty, let's get to the next one. We've got a lot to get to. Alright, our next plane is the... I can't even read this. Shoshkoshki? Shoshkoshki. Shoshkoshki. Shoshkoshki Komata triplane, which is a Russian plane. And I totally said the name wrong, but you get the idea. And uh, this is from 1921, I think. But uh, look at the engines. That's cool. Now we've got the tail. Just a big old triplane bomber, I guess? Okay. Let's see here. What's this? Communication window? Oh, he's got the little communication window. So cute. Side hatch. Okay. Um, wow, what a neat cockpit. Okay. Uh, cockpit instruments? Cockpit heater? Not really. Needed. Uh, Magneto, right Magneto, fuel pumps, that seems like something we need. Water intake? I don't think we need that, do we? It's probably for bombing, water bombing. Generators, 
turn off when batteries are full. Well, we'll turn them on now. And, uh, how close to water? Oh, interesting. Okay. And then master, oh, I just turned off the master power. And folding seat. Okay. How do we turn it on? I don't see a turn propeller. Am I missing? Okay. Do I have to do something out there? Let's see here. <laughs> you have to crank it twice. How cool is that? I'm going to crank it three times just to make sure it's on. I don't feel like I got enough power. Is it on? I don't feel like it's on. Is it on? I think... Yeah, maybe it is on. Okay, cool. Um, let's get out here and go the other one. All right, this is a cool plane. Holy moly. Crank. Crank. One more time for good luck. All right. There we go. Wow. Just wow. All right, here we go. I'm excited about this one. Let's see here. All right, throttle, park and brake. I don't know where the light is for that, but I think it's off. All right, let's go ahead and power up. All right. Look at this thing. Holy moly. All right. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Let's turn this. This one has power. These engines are big. So we are gonna... Whoa! Oversteer is what we're gonna do. Oversteer, oversteer. Oversteer, oversteer. Okay, let's see. Tail. Tail's going up. We're off the side. <laughs> and we're up. Look at that! Wow. Okay, so if you want to uh, hand crank a plane, you can download this one in the description below. Let's go ahead and uh, get to the next one. Holy moly! All right, next up we have the Grumman G21 Goose. And uh, do we get in through the top? No, we don't. Do we have to crank any engines? Um, what's stopping me from walking over there? No, we don't. All right, let's go on the bottom. Wait. Something looks wrong. Why is it so low in the water? I don't think there's water inside, is there? No. Hmm. It has wheels. You know what? Let's take it back to the other hangar. Alright, so we're going to take off from the hangar because it was kind of sitting in the water really, really low. So, that was odd. Alright. Hey, look, it's got a ladder. Can I use the ladder? <gasps> I can. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right. How do I turn this off? Uh, there it is. All right, so that was easy to do. Let's just look at this back here. Cool. All right, got seating. And then we have this compartment sliding door. Electric. There we go. All right, ooh. Look at this. Am I going to be able to figure this out? I don't know. But we're just going to try our best to hack it before we look up anything. Okay, generators, fuel pumps seem all good. Left engine starter, we have to hold it. Water intake, bilge pumps, lights, 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 lights. Uh, stuff, magnetos, that seems important. Yeah, it's already set up there. All right, let's try the um, battery on. Aha! Okay, starting it up. I do have the... Where's my throttle? Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, we got 15. Should start. Okay. Okay, looking good. 
All right. Not overpowered, so we're going to have to be careful. What does this say here? Prop pitch. Minus 15 for reverse, 70 for max speed. Okay. Let's go 70 for max speed. Okay. My brakes on or something? I feel like I'm going slow. Alright. Wow, look at the tail lift up already. Uh-oh, are the brakes on? Uh-oh! Alright, so it appears the parking brake was on. I'm guessing that was the problem. So let's try to turn it on again. So I get confused. Sometimes the parking brake's on, sometimes the parking brakes are not on. And I have to look for it. I do that on my own planes too, so... Can't really blame anyone for doing that. So let's pump up the volume here. Let's put this to, I don't know, 77. Yeah, 77. Now let's just pump this up. Okay, parking brake is number five? No, four. All right, parking brake's off. Okay. And this should be an easy takeoff. We just have to pump up the throttle. Tail is raising up, which means we're not going to die. There we go. All right, landing gear is five. Oh, there we go. And we're up. All right, now I feel like we want to land in the water. Can't really see how we're going. Let's go to like 25, 22. All right, we're starting to go down fast here. I wish Stormworks actually had gliding physics. We just kind of like fall out of the sky with low. F yeah, just like that. But uh, let's see if we can take off now. Alright, so I can take off and land in the water, it just, I don't think it floats properly in the water. See, I'm thinking you can get in and get out without, like, flooding it. But, uh, a very cool plane. And you can download it in the description below. Let's get to the next one. Alright, so the next one is a Savoy, Savoia? Savoia Marchetti S55. And this one has kind of like a wheel cart. So I guess we start this one off and land, and then we can go into the sea. So let's go ahead and use the ladder to get up on here. What is this here? Top hatch. Oh, this is neat. Do I have to crank these? Engine hatch. Okay, so you can check out the engine. Okay, cool. I don't think I have to crank them. There we go. Let's get inside here. Shut that. Oh, it's cramped in here. What's that? Pilch pump. Uh, sliding doors electric. I guess he did not update these with the newer doors, so we don't have to use these electric doors anymore. Uh, okay, that's fine. We have to duck down here. Wait, what? Oh. Where am I at? <laughs> I'm in the front. Oh, okay, where's my... Where's my cockpit? How do I... Hello, cockpit, where are you? Cockpit? Uh-oh. Let's come back out here. Oh, that's a bow hatch. Where's it? Oh, is it cockpit? Oh, I'm in the... Oh! I'm in the wing! Oh my gosh, this thing is way bigger than I thought. Okay. So let's shut that. Is there a door right here? Uh, yes. Ah, look at that. Crazy, right? I got lost inside the plane. Okay. Here we go. We are inside. Looking good. What does this do? Okay. Don't need that. Alright, cockpits. Landing lights. Reverse only. No, we don't want to do that. Heater. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Generators. Seems like a good thing to have. Left fuel pump, right fuel pump. Engine flow systems. That seems like something we need. Main power is already on. APU, sure, why not turn that on? 
Lots of illumination flare, smoke flare. Everything seems to be good. Now we just have to use starter engine number one. Engine number two. Now, is this just sitting on top of this thing and will it fall off or do I have to like click a button to drop it? I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay. Oh, we can't turn. Can't turn? We can't turn. All right, well, floor it and hope we take off. There we go. Okay. That actually worked. Okay, let's go ahead and land in the water. What's our little land? Right. 0.62, 0 0.50. Okay. .30. All right. All right. There we go. Let's try to land in the water. And... How high am I? Okay, come on. Land it. Land it. Okay. There we go. So we are landed in the water. It is floating nicely. Alright, so let's go ahead and take off now. Okay. These have a lot of power, so... There we go. Alright, that's it. We did it. Plane successfully tested. Let's get to the next one. You can download this in the description below in case you didn't know that. Next up, we have the Santos Dumont 14-BIS. And this is an odd plane. Apparently this was built in 1906, I guess? Or maybe 1903. I don't know. I didn't read it carefully. But uh, it's a very old plane. And uh, I think it says it's hard to fly. So, yeah. We're going to try once we figure out where you sit. Wait, is it is that? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Okay, hopefully there's nothing I have to click, right? Does it just work? Swing the propeller, number one. Okay. Okay. Are the world checks in? I can't tell. Oh. It's a good boat? thing I don't know is the wheel chucks. Are they on or off? Can't tell. There's no indicator. Okay, let's... Now, it seems like it's rolling pretty easily. I don't think they're on. Okay. What the heck? Okay, we're not giving up yet. We're not giving up yet. Come on. Fly, be free. Fly me free! Fly me free! Ah, I may have to read the manual on this one. Keep the plane stable until takeoff. Try to take off slowly. You mean I have to actually try to fly this thing? Oh boy. All right, let's try to actually fly this thing. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of give us some runway by coming over here. And I'm just using the number one key and just kind of making it taxi us without turning fully on. Look at that front end. I kind of want to look up this plane just to see what it actually looked like, because that is a crazy design. Alright. Here we go. Gonna... So keep the plane stable. I don't know how to keep the plane stable. It's spinning out. Uh-oh. I need to really line it up on the runway. So let's, let's get over there. All right. Come on. Get over there. Move, 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 move. 
try to land without taking damage if you can. Yeah, right. I don't think that's going to happen. It says be proud because it's not easy to take off. So if I can take off, I should be proud. All right. Where is that? No, we want to go this way a little bit more. Do we? Yeah, we do. All right. So I'm just holding number one. And just laying it. Uh-oh. Am I running out of... Oh, no! I used all my battery. So now I'm using the throttle carefully. To... Try to get it in position. The engine is on. So... We are using the engine to move. And just speed controlling it to try to get it to line up with the runway. Okay, it's turning. Oh, don't turn too much. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright. No, turn a little bit. Give me more, run give me more runway! No! We almost had it. I don't think I want the wheels to start burning out. I think that's when everything goes bad. Okay, see, like that right there. Okay, tapping right, tapping left, tapping left, tapping left. Dear gosh, come on! Come on! <gasps> Ta-da! Well, then I can be proud. We took off. This is a crazy plane. Look at this thing. A giant box. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Should we try to land it? We should try to land it, right? Oh. 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 We're in the water. Yep. Alright. Anyways. We got in the air. I'm happy with that. Let's get the next one. All right, let's stick with the old planes, and we're going to be flying the Cauldron G3 biplane. So it looks like a French plane, and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get it up in the air. Who's the daddy here? Is it in the back? Maybe. Easy peasy. Hold the starter. Oh, no. What did I forget? Hold the start. Wait, what? Hold the start. All right, let's... Sit down again. Cruise, starter, parking brake, interior light. All right. I don't know what I did, but it's working now. Okay. All right. We're just going to throttle up. Try to go down the runway here. Yeah, it's already ready to go. Okay. Let's go. There we go. Lovely little plane. Flies nice. I got it up on one try. What more could you ask for? Very cool. These planes look just like they'd be fun to fly with your friend around in multiplayer. They probably do pretty good in multiplayer. Some of his old, uh, some of his newer planes have a lot more monitors and logic inside, but I think these are running off basic logic because back then they were pretty much basic planes, so they should fly pretty well in multiplayer. But uh, who knows? You have to give it a try, but they fly nice in single player. So, cool plane! You can download it in the description below. Let's get to the next one. Alright, next up is Junker's JU-52, also known as Iron Annie. Started off as a passenger plane, and of course was used in the war for paratrooper drops. But, uh, I think this is the, uh, non-military version, so let's go ahead and check it out. Also, maybe it is. Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe just a military version. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get it off the ground. Where's my button for this door? Oh, it's right there. Jump in. Jump out. Crap. Jump in. Jump out. <laughs> How do I shut the door? Oh, never mind. I'll shut up now. All right, here we go. Let's see. We've got fuel pumps. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps. Because we have an engine in the front. Aha. Uh -huh. And we've got autopilots, altitude hold, throttles. I assume these are all, oh, yep, they're all set to 0.15, so they're ready to go. Starter number one. 
No, we need a battery or something somewhere. Disable reduction gear for landing. What's this? Okay, I'm missing it. Where is my battery or power or something like that? There we go. All right, good, good. Let's get it going here and try the engine number two, I guess we should start with because that's where the generator is. All right. Same started. You know what? Let's put the parking brake on. All right. Get number one running. And number three. Right, they're all running. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this going up in the air now right. by releasing the parking brake and using our throttle. It is on the arrow key. Wow, look at this thing. Lovely looking. Look at that. Okay, I know everyone's flown this already, but I haven't, so I'm enjoying these planes. All right. Turns nice. Seems like it has more than enough power to easily... Yeah, I didn't even touch the elevator. It's up. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Another WoW plane for me. This is a WoW plane. Okay. And I don't mean World of Warcraft? World of Warships? No. I just mean WoW. Alright, let's get to the next one. <laughs> All right, so I could not spawn this in the the water location there. I actually had to spawn it in a mission. So we're going to run over it to it right now. And this is the Junkers JU-52 3M float plane, also known as Water Annie. Just kidding, it doesn't say that, but it is the same plane, but a water-based version. So there you go. Look at it. It's floating nicely, isn't it? Is it on land at all? Oh, look, he's got wheels. Oh, maybe I was supposed to f spawn it inside the hangar. Oh, well, here we go. Number two engine, which is our middle engine. Number one engine. Number three engine. Yeah, and we're already off. Oh, we got the... Uh, Swastika. So if you're in Germany, you may not be able to watch this video. Sorry about that. Okay, full throttle. How is he getting these things to float so well? I have to ask him. Because all the other float planes I've seen, they they sink. They don't float. And you sure don't get off the water this easy. Watch this. I'm gonna just elevate her up a little bit. We're up. We're up. How's he doing this? Yeah, I'm gonna bug him. I have no idea how easy he's making these fly just whoop, off the water. But, uh, yep. Lovely plane. Super detailed. Looks like it was made in a 3D application and not Stormworks. And flies really nice. So let's get to the next one. Alright, so I'm spotting this with a mission. This is the Boeing 314 Yankee Clipper. And... For some reason, the engines are already started. So, uh, so we can get inside. It's very loud here, very loud. Uh, you can see inside, we've got beds in the back. Oh my god, I'm yelling over this thing. Let me turn this off. Okay, I had to turn this down way too loud. But here you can see we've got a nice back area, and then beds, and just a huge airplane. Um, what is this? Flight deck hatch. There we go. And we are up. Wow, look at this thing. It's like a double decker. It's back here. Cargo hold. Oh, it's back here. More beds. Wow, this is huge. Amazing. Okay. So, let's see how easy it is to fly. Uh, boy. Oh my gosh, those engines are loud. Why are they so loud? gonna just turn them all the way down to like a lot. Ten percent? Yeah. They're really loud. I don't know why they're so loud, but they are loud. Uh what do we got over here? No. Let's see up here. Um 
do, 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 do. Flares, magnetos, we need these on. Maybe this will turn us around a little bit to the right. Okay. Engine number three. And engine number four. All right. Everything is looking good. I'm not going to touch those. Seat up. Oh, you can move your seat. That's cool. All right. Um, let's uh, get the throttle going here. All right. Big plane. Wow. Another wow plane. Okay. And uh, is this going to take off? It took off. What is the secret to these? Like, I don't see, like, a bunch of fins down here. Or anything. Is there fins inside? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to him. And find out what the secret is to these amazing water planes that seem to be floating and taking off with ease. Just wow. Alright, so we have a lot of planes to get through, so we're just going to take a look at this thing. And say wow. And then get to the next one. Yeah, lovely plane. Description, download, you know what to do. All right, next. All right, real quick, we're just gonna take a look at this from the outside. This is basically the same plane, but a water bomber version. So we're not gonna test out the water bombing features. Features, not features, features, because we need to move on. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is, but I think it's quite long. So links are in the description below. Uh, probably roughly the same as the other plane, except I think this has something inside. Somewhere. Where's it at? Yeah. We've got a, a little boat in here. So, very cool. Does that come out the side? It comes out the side. So, yeah. Well, you know what? Let's take a look real quick. I wish I could turn off the, uh, the generators. But we have this. Oh, I got killed or something. All right, so apparently I got stuck or something, and then Stormworks transported me way over at La La Land, so... Let's go ahead and see if I can sneak in here without getting... Okay, light cargo... Okay, there's the lights. Light rear. Okay, so how do we get this out? Move out. Wait, which side does it go out? Does it matter? Um, oh, it's locked on. It's locked on. Place. Oh, boy. Ah, there we go. I, I forgot to release the things. So it goes out. Oh, there it goes. It goes out. Extends quite far. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Like, it's extending on these tracks, it's extending on these tracks, and somehow... Really? And I was saying, somehow it manages not to flip the plane over with the physics, so... Nice job. But yeah, so you've got that. I'm guessing... One of these releases? Winch down. Let's do that. There you go. Like that. And then you can probably jump in this thing. If you're careful. What is this? Launch flare, driver's seat, release boat. I, I think I remembered to turn off the dock. Okay, and that's it, right? Alright, can I start in? There we go. There we go. Look at that. That's cool! Huh! Very cool little boat. Okay, so I didn't know I had that feature, but we checked it out. So, <laughs> now let's get to the next one. All right, so I think we've got three planes left. The 109, the P-47, and then the brand new plane that he just released the other day. And we're going to check that one out last. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this one. I think I've checked this one out before. I, I think it was because of this. So, this plane uses monitors within monitors. So, if you haven't seen this before, I have another video somewhere where I showed what he did. But... What he does is he has 
a camera looking at monitors, these little ones, actually they're, you know, 32 by 32, in the back. And what they do is he's projecting them on the larger monitor. And so you get more on one cube because it's shrinking them down slightly. So very cool. Um, as you can see, just just a really neat kind of thing to get more information inside your cockpits. So anyways, uh, if you want to check out that video, I'll try to remember to link to it, but it is the 109. So check it out by doing the search box if I forget to link it. But let's just go ahead and get it started. And uh, this one's easy to start. I don't even have to mess with it, do I? All right. So uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, enough power to take off pretty quick. If we don't hit the wall. There we go. Ta-da! Yeah, there you go. Looks nice. Let's get the landing gear. Where's the landing gear? Five? There you go. I like that even offset a little bit like the real ones. There you go. 109. Yay! Ta-da! All right, let's get to the next one. Okay, P-47 bubble top. And uh, this one, I don't think I've flown this one yet before. Let's uh, try to get up there. Come on, let me up without grabbing onto a handle. Please, please. I'm gonna have to use a handle. What's this? Reserve battery? Fuel hatch, okay. Okay, can we get on the backpack and just kind of... Yeah, we can, all right. There we go. All right, that'll work. All right. All right, P47, using the monitor trick. As you can see, lots of information. Um, I think this might be as easy as the 109 to start, which is just by clicking on the starter. Looks nice. It's Chucky Nelly B. Nelly B. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay, wait, are brakes on? I'm a little bit worried. On, yeah, by default, okay. Does that have a WEP? I feel like it has WEP, because when you hold it down for a long time, it seems to, uh, yep, hold for WEP. Nice. What is that doing? Just going to 110. Ah, interesting. Very cool. Oops, not that. Not the canopy? There's the canopy. All right, there we go. Looking nice. Um, number five. All right, and how do we drop... Okay, we got rockets. One, two, three. Woo! Nice. And then drop bomb number six. And they're gone. Awesome plane. All right, let's just do a little flippity flip. And that is it. Download it in the description below. Description. I can never say that word. Description below. And uh, check it out. All right. On to the last plane. This is the latest plane by Thales. This is the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. And this is a civilian plane. And as you can see, very nicely detailed. But wait, wait until we get into the cockpit. What is this? Engine hatch, let's check this out. There you go. Oh, it's got little parts in there. Oh, it's adorable. Um, okay, how's the compass work? I don't think I've ever used one in the game. Oh, okay. It doesn't give you coordinates. It's just a simple compass, which is what it said it was. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and close this. Close this. There you go. And how do we get inside? Is it that? Oh, there we go. All right, so this is super detailed. Oh, that's interesting. Um, kind of a crowded cockpit, but we're going to see what we can do here. So... First off, we're going to turn on the screen. I think it's this button here. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Oh, that looks nice too. See, this is using the projection. That's why he's getting all this information inside here. So a camera is, you know, filming a bunch of instruments that are larger and shrinking them down, just in case you didn't understand what I was saying before. All right, so next up, turn on the engine, which is just this thing here. That's easy. 
flaps on for easier takeoff. Where do we do flaps on? Flaps on number two. There goes the flaps right there. See that? Okay, cool. Throttle up to 100% and take off at 60 knots against the wind direction if there is wind. Turn flaps off when airborne. Throttle to 90% for optimal cruise. That's it. And then we have, you know, strobes. If we want the strobe lights. There they go. Dome lights. Nav lights. Landing lights. There you go. So, very cool. Let's turn off the landing lights. Too bright. And, uh... I think that's it. What's this do? GPS AP and altitude hold. I don't want to touch those right now, just in case. All right, so let's go ahead and throttle up. I don't think the parking brake is on. Let's hit number four real quick. Okay, so it shows it right there. Parking brake on, parking brake off. All right, cool. I have no idea what that is. It might be altitude hold or something. But all right, let's go ahead and throttle up using the arrow keys and uh, get this thing flying. So, nice little plane. So far, really easy to fly. It's moving. Startup was easy. Even I can do it, so that's a positive thing. And so now we're going to just, whoa, turn towards the runway. Speed up to 100. Let's see, where are my knots? Where are my knots? Are they here? Okay, 61 knots. We should be off and running. There we go. That is it. Nothing to it. Look at that. Just a nice little plane. Easy to fly. And you can download it in the description below. So, uh, if you haven't done so already, like, download all of these planes and try them. All of them are fun to fly. All of them have a unique flying experience. I forgot to turn up the flaps. Hold on. Number two. There we go. And can we turn on the gyro? Is there a gyro? Gyro number three. There we go. All right, so anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, download all the planes. They all have a unique flying experience, and you're going to really enjoy these planes. And while you're at it, you know, subscribe to his workshop because he puts out planes on pretty much a regular basis. Um, and if there is, like, a delay between them, it's usually because he's building something really unique and fun. So go ahead and uh, check him out. Links below. And let's say goodbye. All right. Well, that's it for today. If you haven't done so already, click the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Dramatic flyby.